What's up everybody? Today we're going to play some Roos. It is an indie game that just came out. Um, I guess Roos is the Dutch word for giants, I think. Giants? Gods? Giants, I think. Um, I was gifted this game, donated very graciously um, by my friend named Chris from the Netherlands. So yeah, I'm going to be playing this today. I played a little bit. Um, not load. New game. I played up to, there's uh, different eras. I really don't know much about this game. I only played the first era and then the second. It's like a little tutorial, kind of beginning mode or whatever. So I'm just going to do the third era today. And yeah, we're going to get started. Seems like it's got a pretty interesting premise to it. Uh, you guys will see what it's all about once we get in game. Okay, so this spherical object, uh, it doesn't look that great, tell you the truth, but it's supposed to be a world. I'm a planet, I guess. That is that is me. That is my myself in the game. So here, um, these are all the little tutorial messages. I'm pretty much just going to yeah, say, screw you guys, and click through it. Okay, so this game... We have giants. I'm gonna go with it. I think I think the I think Roos means giants in Dutch. But yeah, so we have some giants right here, and this is our world. It is dead. It is uninhabited, and we need to make it habitable. And the gi that's where the giants come into play. So this is the water guy. Uh, what is his name? Oh God, I don't even know his name. Oh jeez. Well, whatever. We're gonna create an ocean right here. Because you need water. You need water for life, obviously. And I don't know who this guy is, actually. Um, he is a new addition to the crew. I think there's four giants, I'm pretty sure. I only have two right now, but as you can see, this guy made a made a nice little ocean right there. Look at that. Yeah. It's like a little crab um, Pokemon guy. I always think when I first started playing this game, I, I initially, when I saw the giants, I was like, oh my god, they're... They look exactly like Pokemon. <laughs> oh man, the good old days when I was like 12 playing that game. Back in like the late 90s. Alright, so we're going to use this guy. Alright, he creates... He's like a swamp guy. He looks like it. So, his main ability. Each giant has a main ability. Um, and his is create swamp. The swamp giant creates puddles and, flo and flora to turn wet wasteland and forest into swamp. I don't know why I would want to make a swamp, but swamps are kind of unforgiving. Not a good place to be, in my opinion. But I'm a human. I'm a pitiful human. So, yeah. Alright, so I'm going to right click and move my giants. They are all in the background of the world. The one thing I don't like, as you can see, like, it zooms out really fast. Um, it's really weird. It's like one one click and it's already like out there it's it's kind of abrasive I'm not sure about that but yeah so we got a swamp here that's looks kinda nice I wouldn't want to be walking through that but hey it's what it is um, okay so my mission I guess here my first one is to use a swamp giant and ocean giant to create a swamp of at least 15 patches okay sounds good so we're gonna use a hotkey too I love hotkeys I'm in a dota right now so we're going to use hotkeys. Hotkeys are great. Alright. So I'm going to press Q and I'm going to left click. The swamp Giant is going to move there very, very slowly. And he is going to do his thing. Yes. Swamp begins. Alright, that's got to be close to 15 patches. I'll press 1. Right click over here. I feel like I'm in Dota right now. Dang. <laughs> uh, the one thing, um, I read a couple reviews about this game. And um, I also, you know, I played like the first two tutorial levels. And the one thing about it is that it, it can be kind of slow. As, as you can see, the giants move very, very slowly um, around the world. And say if I wanted to get this giant all the way down here. That would take, you know, maybe like 30 seconds. That's, that's kind of a long time to be waiting. But 
I don't know. Maybe that's just a first world problem. Probably. But yeah. Um, I guess I'll focus on... I guess the zooming I'm kind of a little bit annoyed with. Um, it's very abrasive. Yeah. <laughs> it just is like zoomed out, then it pops in really quickly. But anyways. Um, and I also don't like that they move really, really slowly. But I'm kind of focusing on... Um, on the bad, you know, but it, it's, it seems like a really cool game. Uh, it's getting very high praise. I think it's got like a, oh, what was it, like an 83 on the Steam review score. That's pretty cool, right? So right now I'm just like uh, extending the water. I'm doing like intermittent um, water swamp, water swamp, because I think this, the, the swamp actually needs um, water, you know, obviously. So we're going to move over here. We have to create at least 15 patches. I'm not exactly sure what a patch is. So maybe that's... Uh, okay, that's probably a patch. Look at that. The lit up area. Okay, yeah. So this should definitely be 15 right here. If it's not, I don't know. No? Come on, what the? Okay, good, good, good. All right. So create a swamp that's complete. Excellent, your swamp thrives with life. I don't know, I don't know where the life is. Maybe it's microbial. Your swamp giant has gained a new ability. Sweet. All right, so herbs is W. The swamp giant makes a plant rise from the earth. These herb plants give tech. Okay, that's cool. 30 second cooldown, so we're gonna we're going to do an herb right there and see what happens. Ah, create some nice herbs. Yeah, I wonder what kind of herbs those are. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Okay, so, oh, they're peppermint. Nice. Well done. The humans have settled once again. Sweet. The herbs you, you made produce technology. Okay, interesting, interesting. So check this out, guys. Um, here is... Like um, you, you make the, you make your planets habitable, uh, with terraforming it essentially, and uh, creating different biomes, and then um, humans will automatically settle in the area. And they're very early humans, as you can see. Look at that guy. He doesn't seem to have a neck. Do you see that? Watch that on 720p at least. Doesn't have a neck, huh? Okay, so this guy wants some apples. He wants some mechanical stuff, engineering maybe. Okay, and I guess these herbs are peppermint, peppermint plants. That makes sense, that's cool. I don't know if I would be settling in a swamp region though, if I was a human being during this time. This uninhabited region actually looks a little nicer, I'd probably settle right here if I was a human. That's cool, they have watchtowers, um, other little towers, tents, neat. Alright, the Ocean Giant has gained the growth ability, so I'm going to click on him, and, oh man, kind of sniffly today. Uh, so E, growth aspect, upgrades a plant with a gross growth aspect. Okay, this is some very technical RPG style stuff, I feel, I feel like. <laughs> so can I upgrade... Up. Yes, I can. I can upgrade this peppermint plant. Cool, cool. So yeah, I just want to stress that this is a first impression, so don't be all like, you know, stop sucking at this. I'm going to tell you to chill out then. <laughs> okay, so the peppermint plant has been upgraded, I guess. Learn about aspects. Has gained the growth aspect ability. Okay, allows you to upgrade plants, animals, and etc. All right, let's keep going. Can't be bothered to read all that. <laughs> Click on the patch of herbs and view the patch panel. Oh, okay, so I can transmutate or transmute. Ah, okay. Nice, nice. 
Interesting. Okay, so there's, uh, instead of peppermint plant there, there's actually tomatoes now. Sweet. Alright, you guys better like lasagna and spaghetti. That's what I'm saying. Alright. Next. I'm trying to skim really, really quickly using my college skills. Alright, the village has started the school project. It seems the villagers demand this project to be finished within a certain amount of time. Ooh, I hate time. Timed quests. Okay, uh, what's the time on it? Uh, I don't know. Derp. Oh, within 15 minutes, I think, right? Okay, so I need objective is to get technology. Okay, so I know that this, this peppermint plant before gave technology, right? So the, these tomatoes probably give it also. I'm not sure how tomatoes give technology, but uh, we're gonna go with it. Um, the herbs at least give it. So we can see down here, eight of 10 technology. Okay, we jumped up to nine, nine of 17. Uh, okay, cool, cool. Let's click on the school again. What do we need? Um, okay, so we need 15 food and use. We need 15 as well. All right. Does this give technology? Healthy plus 0.5 tech for each one food on this patch. Okay. Man, this is some this is some RP, RPG stuff right here. <laughs> I'm going to transmutate, get away here, we're on cooldown right now, my crab giant is transmutating, hopefully, are you transmutating, come on, why are you not transmutating, oh never mind, oh there we go, okay. Jeez. 